Okay, so recently Checkpoint just announced the latest release for the Gaia operating system. That's Checkpoint operating system that allows you to deploy the management server and the gateway. Now, if you're new to Checkpoint, those are the main components in uh, Checkpoint security infrastructure. So you have the management server, that's the unit responsible for managing the gateways and you have the gateways, those are essentially the firewalls that are used to filter, deny, block or to inspect the traffic that enters or leaves uh, a network, okay? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy a checkpoint solution using a management server and the gateway, but with one component missing. Okay, the first thing we have to do is to download the Gaia operating system directly from Checkpoint website. And I'm going to share the link to this page in the video description. So what do we want? So you can read these and see what are the new features, uh, what are the problems they identify, what they're trying to solve. But just take note that by the time of this recording, it's not the recommended version to be used in a production environment, okay? If you want, you can test it, but it's not what Checkpoint recommends to its clients, users to use in production environment, okay? So we can go directly to downloads and installation and there are different options here. So download the guy operating system, click install ISO. Probably you will be required to log in. Okay, and so this is the Gaia Fresh install take 777 ISO and I'm just going to download this file. After downloading the file, we're going to create two virtual machines. One is going to be the management server and the other one is going to be the gateway or the firewall. So let's create the first uh, virtual machine and that's going to be custom. I'm going to click on next, next. And I'm just going to select install the operating system later. So I'm click on next. And I'm going to select Linux, Ubuntu 64, click on next. And then I'm going to give it a name. So in this case, it's going to be SMS, yeah, security management server. Then select the destination folder where you want to install these. So now I'm going to select just two processors and the memory, I'm just going to select 16 because management server normally it requires a lot more but I'm going to also show you what are the specifications or the minimum hardware requirements in case you want to deploy uh, these in your own environment. Okay, so let's continue. And I'm just going to select the use the network, but then I'm going to change this according to my own lab topology. Next, next, create a new virtual disk. Next, I'm just going to give it 80. Next, and that's going to be next. And then I'm going to click on finish okay so now i'm going to edit this virtual machine so here i want to select the cd dvd so i'm going to select the iso file that i just downloaded and i'm going to change the network adapter to be uh according to my topology so how do i want to manage this uh security management server okay so now i'm going to power on the machine and it's loading Okay, so we want to interrupt the booting process and select the option install Gaia on this system. Okay, if you're doing the installation process, you see this warning message and maintaining hardware is selected. Don't panic, you still be able to install the Gaia operating system. Okay, so let's proceed with installation. Okay, okay. I'm just going to leave everything as default by now. Okay, I'm just going to type the password. And then it's going to be the maintenance account. And I'm going to change these to 101. So that's going to be uh, my uh, management interface. Okay, sure, continue. And it's going to start the installation of Gaia operating system in this VM. Another difference during the installation of the management server and the gateway is that on the gateway, I'm going to add one additional network interface so that we can have one interface as the outside and the other one as the inside interface. So that should be very simple just to add and network adapter and finish. Okay, and then I'm going to select the 
uh, Gaia ISO to load the Gaia operating system. Okay, once the installation is completed, all we have to do is to press enter and it's going to reboot. At the same time, let's continue with the installation of Gaia on the other VM. So let's begin the installation. US, just going to press enter, type the password. And probably it's wrong. Yeah. Okay, now the maintenance account. And I'm going to select the if one interface as the inside interface. Okay, so that's going to be 43102. And I'm going to remove the default gateway. Okay, and it's going to begin the installation. Back on the management server, it should display this mesh. And this system is for authorized use only. So if we try to log in with the credentials we just defined, it's going to tell us that in order to configure the system, we have to access using the web user interface and finish using the first time wizard. Okay, so I'm going to another machine that's going to be a window that I'm going to use to continue the installation. Okay, so we have to log in using uh, uh, HTTPS and that should be 101. Advanced, let's proceed. Okay, and that says the Gaia portal R82. Okay, so let's log in. And we should see the first time configuration wizard. Okay, so I'm going to click on next. Continue with R82 configuration. I'm going to just confirm that that's actually the IP address we want to use. Click on next. And here I'm going to change the host name to SMS security management server. Click on next. And I'm just going to confirm the date. And here we're going to select security gateway and or security management server. Click on next. And we're going to remove security gateway from this option. So this is where we actually set to which type of uh, product this is going to be. So we want this to be the security management server. So we're going to click on next. We're going to leave as default, next, next, and just click on finish and begin the configuration process. Okay, so now let's begin the first time configuration wizard for the gateway. So that should be HTTPS 192.168.43.102. Let's go to advanced and continue. Okay, let's log in using the credentials we just created. Uh, that's going to be uh, most of the steps the same as like we did on the management server. So continue with R82, confirm the internal IP address. And here on if zero, I'm going to enable and set to manually. So let's select 192, probably 1168 and 254. And the mask, let's select uh, 255, 255, zero. Okay, and click on next. And the host name, going to set to gateway. And just confirm the time. And we're going to select security gateway. And here we're going to deselect the security management option. And just going to leave security gateway. Okay, so click on next and click on next and here we have to type the seek that's the secure uh the key that we have to add on the management server okay it's going to be a very secure one so click on next and let's begin the configuration now the configuration on the management server is completed so now let's click on okay and it is so it is up and it's running and it is R82 Gaia operating system running as the management server. Now there is a third component that it is required on a checkpoint distributed deployment. We have the management server, we have the gateway and we need the smart console. The smart console is the software that we use to interact with the management server. So we don't manage the management server directly, at least until now. We have to use a software, an executable software to manage or to interact with the management server to deploy the policies and all the other stuff. Okay, so since I believe version R8120 checkpoint removed the smart console from the security management server deployment. So we would have the smart console option here 
but now if we click on this one it's going to actually redirect us to the checkpoint website to download the smart console and now we have a problem okay so to download smart console first we have to log in into checkpoint support center so that's what we're going to do now but after being authenticated this is the message missing software subscription to download this file checkpoint really now there are different ways that i can use to get my hands on this software but the main question is how this is going to help you because i'm making this video to help you and i can't share the software with you because if you're not entitled to get the software uh it means that you're not supposed to have it but there is actually another option you see i believe that it since r8120 Checkpoint or the guy operating system supports what is called the smart console web or web smart console. The thing is that you don't need a client to manage the security management server. It's like the web smart console version. There are some limitations, but it will be enough to show you what R82 looks like. Okay, to use the web smart console, all we have to do is to type the management server IP address slash smart console. Couldn't be easier than that. So let's try this. Okay, let's see if this is going to work. So I'm going to open another tab, HTTPS 192.168.43.101 slash smart console. And it's not installed. Um, really checkpoint you're not making it easy as i said i have to make this video so that you can have a look at what r82 looks like so i didn't quit i did this for you so after troubleshooting and waiting for quite some time i was able to see this troubleshooting web smart console guide so one of the options that it say is if web smart console is not installed well you can follow these steps, wait a few minutes and try to connect again or install the latest web smart console manually. So let's assume that we are already using the first option. What about the second one? So let's go to this page. And yes, we can install the web smart console. Now, if we try to download this file. And we can do it either. So we are only left with the first option and it is to wait. So be patient. Okay, so finally, after a couple of minutes, the web smart console is here, is alive. So let's waste no more time. So let's log in and see if we can have a look at R82 and that's it ladies and gentlemen that's gaia r82 and yeah just remind me in one month and no thank you yes i want to continue and this is what gaia r82 looks like and i don't see much difference uh, visually um uh, but yeah that's the latest and greatest gaia r82 and the security policies, the way to do them looks the same. Uh, we have threat prevention, HTTPS inspection, logs, infinity services. And yeah, that's it. And so how do we add the gateway or how can we manage the gateway using this option? Well, quite simple actually. So we go to this option, new gateway so it's going to prompt for this message you can only use this editor blah 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 don't show me this ever 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 again so we're going to type the gateway ip address and my case is going to be 43102 okay so now let's give it a name that's going to be gateway and now we're going to establish the secure communication so using the same pass key that we chose a couple of steps before during the first time configuration wizard so let's connect cross fingers and it's secure communication established. Now it's getting the topology information, meaning the network interface. So retrieved successfully, great. So let's go to network management. I'm going to click network management, general. 
and those are the two interfaces that we have at the moment so 43102 that should be the inside interface so this network internal yeah that's great and if zero that should be the outside interface this network internal no i want to override this so i'm going to open this and select override and i'm going to select internet and i'm going to click ok now if we go back to general properties there is nothing else to change i'm just click on ok and actually let's add one rule just to make sure that we can actually use this web smart console version so i'm going to add a rule above the last one uh, that's going to be a uh, LAN LAN to internet so the source is going to be so i'm going to create a new object and that's going to be n slash uh, 192.168.43.0 slash 24 and the subnet is going to be 43.0 and the mask is going to be 24 and I want to use net uh, behind the security gateway and now I have to select the source well I did create but I didn't select this but what is my object? So let me search for this and it looks okay it looks like it didn't save okay probably i have to do this again so let's see like 2168430 not slash 24. it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up okay i'm going to edit this so lan to internet and I select the object that looks like it's not here I'm going to add this again so 92168430 slash 24 and subnet is going to be 43024 and that should be enough okay and the destination let's select just any uh, for services that just select uh, HTTPS and also DNS okay and the action I'm going to change to accept and I want to enable logging okay so that should be enough so I'm going to install the policy publish and install okay so I'm going to select the gateway and begin the installation and let's click here to see the details okay the selection was succeeded which means that we have a security management server and a gateway running the latest gaia r82 using web smart console now if you took value from this video don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and if you have any doubt just leave your questions in the comment section or send me a message directly on linkedin or instagram i'll see you on the next one bye bye